just a short one. Uh, I regret, but Alex will not be able to come. Uh, the doctor just recommended him uh, to go to the hospital for uh, short scanning, which cannot be postponed. That's why uh, he, he just finished with all the anti-doping procedures and needs, needs to go. I wish he could come, but it will probably take too long for you to wait. That's why uh, I'm here. Maybe if you have several questions, I can give you an answer, please. Uh, congratulations, Radio Rahim, on a great victory tonight. When you heard the first two judges' scores read and it was a split, what were you thinking and what was Usyk thinking? Uh, difficult to comment it straight away. I mean, I didn't watch the fight on a screen. I watched it live. For me, I had the impression that Usyk won seven rounds. That was my personal scorecards, which uh, I consider to be pretty precise throughout uh, 20 years. Uh, minus one point deduction for the knockdown. So, uh, even, not even that close, did, I would suggest. Did you, did you think the ref jumped in too early for the knockdown? Uh, I think the ref jumped saved actually Tyson from a knockout and he stole the the knock the ninth round knockout which should have been happening oh, sorry for my language <laughs> uh, last one for me can you detail the injury to Usyk that has it so that he can't That's come nothing, here today? Uh, nothing new it's an old one but needs to be uh, analyzed not to to swell too much for us to you know to stay in shape and uh, make a rematch within the certain period of time, the agreed period of time. Uh, Mike Hoppinger, ESPN. Congratulations on the victory. Thank you. Sorry, I think you may have answered this, but what is the condition of his jaw and how did that happen? And what hospital is he headed to? Uh, I don't know any, any hospital that uh, can, can make the MRI or, or the, the other scanning just to, to give the idea of what's, what's the status. There's nothing, nothing really major, but uh, the procedure has to be, to be, to be done. So Thank would you, you say it's much. a scan that he's getting on a suspected broken jaw? Is that, is that fair to say? No, it's not a broken jaw. Okay, what is it? Uh, how can I, if, I, uh, if we go sure. to, to some MRI, how can I know right. before MRI? Uh, otherwise, it, it would be well, some, <laughs> no need to go. Well, sometimes they'll say in the ring, hey, it's suspected. We're going to check out to confirm it, but it's suspected. They'll, they'll no, I, I told you this is uh, nothing new. It's, it's an old stuff he had a long time before. Okay. So, but you think the rematch is probably on, on pace for October? Uh, no, no, uh, how you say, no doubts about it. Thank you. Maida, Arab News. Um, I'm asking the question. Okay, Vita Yamor and Mabrug on tonight's win. What does this win mean for Yusik? And I also wanted to mention Arab news prior to the fight. We met lots of fans from Ukraine and they mentioned that tonight would mean something very special for Ukraine. So I also want to know what is your message for the Ukrainian fans that showed up tonight and the ones in Ukraine? Yeah, this is a very sensitive issue for all of Ukrainians. <coughs> Usyk fought three fights after the in Russian invasion started. Uh, I don't want to uh, like speak too much about what's going on. Everyone knows. Uh, the horrible war is taking place in Ukraine and people are suffering. A lot of people are suffering. Uh, Usyk is the icon for new generations, for current generations. He is the icon, the, the example for children. Uh, many people think he is one of the most recognized, well-recognized uh, personalities in sports and be out of sports in Ukraine and uh, probably one of the most respected. And uh, this is well-deserved because his achievements on sports, uh, in sports, it's something that uh, you can't find really often when you're uh, watching encyclopedia, looking encyclopedias, uh, reading books, historic books, you, you don't find it really often. The guy, just to remind you, the guy has completed everything possible. 
European amateur champion. No, let's be, let me start with, uh, he, st he started boxing when he was 15. He became the champion, just national Ukrainian champion. Then he became the European champion, world amateur champion, Olympic amateur champion. Then he turned professional and within just 10 boats, he has beaten the record of Evander Holyfield. He has become the WBO cruiserweight champion. Uh, in several fights, he unified WBO and WBC, defeating Breedis, and then he became the undisputed cruiserweight champion. Uh, for a normal athlete, it's time to stop, but not for Usyk. So he starts his journey in, in heavyweights. Uh, one fight, second fight, no one believes, as always. Then Anthony Joshua. Odds are really low. No one trusts Usyk can, can do anything with a bigger, taller guy. Uh, he's too small, middleweight, whatever. He beats Anthony Joshua, which is a surprise for everyone. He beats him again in, in the rematch. It's not, not anymore a surprise. Okay, what's, what's next? Undisputed, that's what's next. But it took us almost three years to make it happen. Everyone asked the question, why is it so complicated to put things together? Now you see, it's, uh, it's done, and it was not a, an, an easy walk. But thanks God, it's accomplished, and uh, the guy has achieved the, the result that had never been achieved before. Garrett. Thank you. Alex, congratulations Thank to your you team and to Ukraine, Slava Ukraini. Um, just two things, really. Um, when was the last time that Alexander went to a hospital like this in this situation? And secondary, what did he say to you in the dressing room after the fight and to you and the team? He said that he doesn't want to go to the hospital. He wants to come to the press conference and then to uh, do all the things. Uh, but the doctor insisted he has to go. So he was saying like, hey, come on, uh, we need to go. We, go. we need to comply with all the obligations, blah, blah, blah. That's his, by the way, that's his favorite one. Uh, the doctor insists, so I have to, to be here on his behalf. Thanks God. And when was the last time he had to go to the hospital for a check? Which fight? Uh, which fight? You mean after the fight? Yeah. Uh, every time he goes to the hospital to check. So that's not an exception. Uh, normally he goes after the press conference. Is he very feel? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, uh, Alex, do you think this, um, this win cements Usyk as pound for pound number one? Well... Let me, allow me please not to answer this question, because pound for pound is something that you cannot measure. Pound for pound is something that uh, people get together and define, okay, this man is pound for pound, but next Monday he's not for pound for pound. He's the two-time undisputed champion, cruiserweight and heavyweight. Is he pound for pound? Only God knows. He's definitely, he's a Hall of Famer, that's what I can tell for sure. As you talk sports here, Alex, um, a few people have said that they felt that Tyson Fury won. They felt that Tyson got the earlier rounds. I just wanted to know, up until um, Usyk scored the knockdown on Tyson, how did you have the scorecards? Uh, so I had Usyk first three rounds. Then I probably gave first round to uh, the fourth round to Tyson. And then it was really uh, complicated to count because uh, my fingers, uh, normally I count like this, blue corner, red corner, but then you run out of fingers and, uh, and you stop, stop counting. Uh, yeah, so in general, uh, mine was, uh, as I told you, seven rounds to Usyk and uh, five rounds to Fury, minus one point for the knockdown. <coughs> And by the way, I, I really think a referee has stolen the, the, the KO victory for Vusik. 
he should have stopped the fight uh, and uh, he should have jumped in. He should have given Usyk the chance to finish and then the bell. So many small things, but it's not like uh, I'm not, it's not disrespect to the referee. It's just my uh, humble uh, opinion. No criticism. Um, uh, Alex, could you tell us how uh, Alexander was after the fight? What did he say to you? What was his feelings? Was he celebrating? Uh, it's something personal. You know, we've, uh, we've gone through this journey together. So we started it back in 2013 after the Olympics. He spent some nine months in the uh, world... Uh, so series of boxing, which is semi-professional, and then we we signed the deal, a prom just a normal deal, and I gave him a promise that he will become the world champion in three years. And Lord gave it to him three weeks before the expiration date. So he became the champion on September 16th to 17th on night in Poland. Uh, after that, we had ups and downs. We, you know, it's, it's very personal. And then at the end of the day, after going through all that, we find ourselves in the ring celebrating the victory with a I don't know. Can it be better? Can it be? Can it be? Did, or it cannot? Did, did Oleg, we saw at the end of the, the fight, Alexander, many, some people may have thought he had the fight in the bag, but he was still trying to finish Fury. Was Alexander a bit disappointed that he couldn't get the KO or TKO? Not at all. Not at all. Uh, how can you be disappointed when you are prized as the undisputed heavyweight champion? Whatever God gives, gives you for the reason. Probably I will not take too much time of yours. Uh, I will probably join, if Usyk is still in, in the locker room, I will probably join him. Thank you very much for your support. Oh, sure. Олександре, вітання від спортарени, вітання від всієї України. Без питань, сьогодні просто дуже хотілося передати оцей прапор від прикордонників, які передали Сумської області. Хлопці, зараз я впевнений, що дивилися цей бій, і я впевнений, що ви передасте Олександру, коли він повернеться з лікарні. Однозначно. І оскільки він теж прикордонник, вони дуже хотіли б це побачити, тому... Uh, in English, that's the flag uh, from the guys uh, who are right now at the border, like it's a uh, Sumer region, uh, right next to the Russia, and uh, guys just wanted, they signed this uh, flag a uh, few days before the fight, and they wanted to give it uh, to Alexander, and I'm sure Alexander will give it to him, and yeah, Alex will have it at home. Slava Ukraini! Glory to Ukraine. Guys, it's never, it, this is never too much to say thank you. And I want to thank Ukrainian soldiers who are now fighting for the freedom of our country. They are real heroes. Usyk is fighting because of them, because they give him this possibility. Guys, Slava Ukraini. This, this one is also from the militaries uh, from the region where I was born and was brought up. All right, thanks very much, guys.
Дякую вам. Дякую вам. God bless.